Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone My name is Wilman From SMPIT Masjid Shuhada Today I would like to tell you about the story The Legend of Batu Bagau Once upon a time there lived a princess who loved bathing in the river with her seven maids. Four of the maids helping the princess washing her hair using special potion, which were sesame seeds and lime. It made the princess' hair thick and Smooth. After that, the princess bathed in the river with, her, with four of her maids. The other three picked the flower and bloomed near the river. They were going to make hair decoration for the princess. Suddenly, a big wave came and drowned the princess along with her four maids. The king was miserable when he knew the princess was missing. Everyone was looking for her, but their attempt was futile. A powerful hermit named Sang Pagilaran came before the king and he said, The princess is alive. Your majesty must visit the underwater kingdom to pick her up. Sang Pagilaran and the king went to the river. He asked, to king to close his eyes and when he opened his eyes he was in another kingdom the place was festive but one thing made the king wonder they were no children Alone. All the people, they were old. They arrived at the gate of underwater kingdom. The guards brought them to a big hall inside the kingdom. Once they met the emperor, the king begged him to give her daughter back. The emperor laughed loudly after hearing the king's request. He said, Your majesty, don't you see? There are no children around here, and only old people alive. They are weak and helpless. Your daughter is cause of this. The king was surprised. How come? Your majesty, the princess loved washing her hair using special potion. Season seeds and lime are poisonous or kingdom. The children die because of it. The others become weak and helpless. War causes the damage must bear the consequence. The princess must accept the punishment of her wrong deeds. The king was sad upon hearing the explanation. I apologize on behalf of my daughter wrong. She doesn't know her action will cause the damage to your kingdom. She is the only one I have. The emperor was silent. 
He called Phil the king of his daughter darling. Then he said, We shall shine a tree. First, the people in your kingdom are forbidden to wash their hair using season seeds and light. Second, this treaty lasts forever. If you agree, I will give your daughter back. I will shine this treaty. The king finally said. The guards broke the king and sang Pagilaran to the god's fan. The king didn't see his daughter, but only five goats. Where are my where are my daughter and her mates? Sampagilaran took the five goats out of the pen. Suddenly, the underwater kingdom was gone. It was all dark. And when the king opened his eyes, he was in the river bank. Beside him, was the princess and four her mates. The king was joyful after to his daughter back. The people gathered in the palace and the king commanded, I forbid you from washing hair in the river using sesame seeds, seeds and lime. Whoever violates the treaty shall bear the consequence. It was known the underwater kingdom was located at the bay on Lamandau River, or known as Batu Bagau. The legend of Batu Bagau teaches us to preserve the environment from the damage because it can affect us and our descendants in the future. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.